Good morning, Facebook. Uh, every Friday at our office, we do something. Our whole staff uh, has to come to our morning meeting, and they have to give some good news. There's so much bad news out there, and we want to make sure that our staff get to share good news. And uh, this week, I wanted to share some good news. I wanted to share it with you all. Um, and this is going to be a case study that we have. A patient had uh, sent me a a Facebook message actually uh, this week and really said thank you for what Rich, our nurse practitioner, has been able to do for her in our office. And I wanted to share this with you. So I'm going to go through this. This is Good News Friday. I'm glad we got to share this with you. Uh, you'd sure think it was funny to listen to some of the good news that we go over in our morning meetings on Friday. But here we go. So this is a case study. This uh, was a 46-year-old female. It's a very, very typical patient that comes into our office. This is nearly every female that comes into our office. So if this is you, take note. She had thyroid symptoms. Uh, she couldn't lose weight. She had joint pain and inflammation. Sorry, I'm reading from my computer here. She had cramping in the back of her legs, cramping in the back of her legs. She had GI issues, including abdominal pain. She was losing her hair. She was exhausted, uh, felt very fatigued all the time. She was diagnosed and told she was told she had sleep apnea. She was able to sleep through the night, but she never felt rested. Um, and when I say she never felt rested, she could uh, sleep all night and get up, and it would take her hours to feel like she would actually wake up. And then she would kind of be lethargic most of the day and then go to bed tired. She had a lot of anxiety and worry. Uh, by her estimation, she worried about even the littlest things would just drive her uh, over the bend. She felt like sometimes her heart was racing and even her voice was changing. She'd been to multiple doctors and, they'd, and she'd seen, and they told her that nothing was wrong. They couldn't find anything that was wrong, and they were looking at standard labs. And if you've seen my video on lab work, uh, you'll know what I mean by that. Uh, no one's helping her figure out why she felt the way she did. So on her examination, I'm trying to give you some other information on this. She had some polypharmacy, which means she was taking multiple medications. Uh, actually, she was on five or six, but the ones that really stood out were gabapentin and omeprazole. Gabapentin is a brain uh, medication. Uh, it's given for people who have pain, and it basically slows down the how well your brain fires, so you perceive pain less. The problem is it's also slowing down the other neurons in your brain, so this is a very, very powerful medication. And unfortunately, gabapentin, neurontin, and Lyrica are, are on the top of the list of medications that are prescribed in this country today. And then omeprazole, is a proton pump inhibitor, which means it slows down or stops the production of acid in your stomach. Well, if you don't have acid uh, being made in your stomach, you can't digest food and absorb nutrients and break down proteins. And, uh, boy, if you can't down, break down proteins and absorb amino acids, you can't make neurotransmitters for your brain, you can't make protein, uh, you can't make hormones in your body, everything, all of your hormones are based in proteins, all of your neurotransmitters are based in proteins. So, it can just set up a whole slew of, uh, of other problems just because of these, of omeprazole, that type of medication. She had a history of having multiple surgeries uh, for female related issues. And um, when we looked at her labs, her basic labs, uh, they would have been categorized largely as normal if you looked at them as normal, uh, the way the normal lab values are stated when you get your lab work back. But upon a closer look, there were uh, multiple conditions that were noted, so I'll go over a few of those. She did have elevated cholesterol, not grossly elevated, but elevated cholesterol is an indication of other things. It's not always an indication of heart disease, but it can be an indication of liver issues. It can be an indication of thyroid issues. It can be an indication of inflammation, gross inflammation in the body. So having elevated cholesterol it can be a big indicator of many other things. She had very low vitamin D. Uh, I will likely do many more videos on the importance of vitamin D, but it's extremely important. Vitamin D is technically a hormone, and you need it for many, many things in your body, including having a good immune system. Her electrolytes were imbalanced on her lab work. Um, when you look at electrolytes, folks, you have to know that your body is actually just is electrical in nature. Um, it, it conducts electricity. You have a certain potential to make things move in and out of your cells. That's based on your electrolytes. You have to have good pH and good electrolyte balance in order to be healthy, and her electrolytes were off. Not grossly. In the medical world, she would have been fine. 
uh, her TSH, a thyroid marker, was said to be normal. And on her lab work, it was quote-unquote normal. But she had a low free T3. And T3 is the hormone that your thyroid produces that is actually the, that's your, that's your juice. That's the gasoline. Uh, that's, the, that's the pressure on your gas pedal. The TSH, it just tells how much your thyroid is working in, in many cases. Not always. It's not a, a perfect marker. But it's the free T3 that tells your cells to actually get to work and generates uh, speed of your metabolism. So her free T3 was mildly low. She had mildly elevated thyroid antibodies. These were never checked for by anybody. The free T3 wasn't checked for. The antibodies were never checked for because she had a normal TSH. Everybody told her she had a normal thyroid. Well, her antibodies were elevated, which means technically she had a, a, a Hashimoto's reactivity. Now, it doesn't mean she had Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, but she does have an autoimmune reactivity that's going to affect her thyroid. And she had low cortisol. Um, that was not on her blood work. That was after she got started on a program with us. We found she had low cortisol. And I'm sorry this is blurry up here, but this is her pattern of, of cortisol. So, let me get this over here. If you notice here, this in this green, is where the normal level should be and this is her level here below that so her entire cortisol rhythm her circadian rhythm of cortisol which is so 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 important for your sleep and rest cycles uh, it, it's so important for your uh, body's ability to handle stress and for you to build up and break down uh, tissues in your body the what's called the catabolic and anabolic balance in your body and it has a huge impact on thyroid hormone expression as well as sex hormone expression in your body. And you can see that cortisol is uh, not anywhere except for at midnight is it, is it actually anywhere near being in that normal range. So she had some real low cortisol. Now this patient came to us, uh, she had her initial evaluation in mid-February of this year. So she's been working with us for just about six weeks now. And um, we're not even close to being done. We're going to work with this patient for probably close to six months to, but, uh, to, to get her really where she needs to be. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But in six weeks, she went from not being able to lose weight, and she's lost 25 pounds. We have not put her on a restricted caloric diet. We didn't tell her to eat less food. We fixed certain things that she was eating. And she didn't have a bad diet. I want you to understand, she did not have the, the, the standard American diet full of Coca-Colas and, and uh, ice creams and things like that. She, she was a, a, a mom, uh, had children, so she didn't eat perfect, but she didn't have a horrible diet. And now she's uh, lost that 25 pounds so far. She's feeling much better overall. This is the message that she sent to me. Uh, she still has some issues, but she, she, she's a great patient and because she knows this is going to take time. Your body's made up of between 10, 20, some, some research says 30 trillion cells. There's no way we're going to get all those cells in her body going, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, in six weeks. So she knows this is going to take time. She's finally taking care uh, uh, and taking time for herself. She's reducing stress. She feels so much better about that. And she's very, very thankful that a provider, not me, my, our nurse practitioner, Rich, uh, that has gotten her on the road to health. And, and we're really, really happy to be a helper. And I wanted to share the story with you because so many of our patients come in and this is how they feel. And there's so many people out there that this is how they feel and they don't feel like there's anything that they can do. So, you know, I always ask when we do a video to please share this. We, we want you to actually hit that share button, tag your friends in this even around the country because there are providers out there that care enough to look deep enough and look at the right lab work and get somebody on the right path. And um, this is our good news for one of the good news is that we're going to share in our office on Friday and I wanted to share it with you. Um, if you know anybody that needs some help, please tag them in this and, and see if there's something that can be done for them. I don't care if they live in Iowa or California or New Mexico, we have some distance patients we might be able to help in our office or we might be able to find a provider near them that can help them. So again, I want you to, th I want to thank you for watching. We hope you have some good news that you can share with others on, on this Friday and uh, we want you to have a great weekend. Uh, Easter's coming up, so happy Good Friday and happy Easter um, and, and folks take care, be healthy.